the really frustrating thing is we could be madly happy. And not to go after that, not to take the risk when it's so close, you could almost reach out and, and touch it. That's nice. Romance. The secret message that everybody who is my age and above has is that you don't feel any different than you were when you left school, really. Oh, uh, will I see you tonight? What? The engagement party. Oh, absolutely. I, I wouldn't miss it. I think if you saw the end of the first one, you might think that my journey in this one would be a bit different. <laughs> That's the kind of teaser I'm giving you. The first film left Douglas and Evelyn sort of staring at one another at the end of the garden path and making what we always thought of as their first date, which appropriately enough was a cup of tea. And I remember saying to John on the day we were watching, and I said, I think they're about eight months from their first kiss. I wonder, do you fancy a cup of coffee? I actually don't have any coffee. No, no, of course not. Why would you? This film picks up from the same spot. So they're still both just stopped being married for different reasons. They've changed countries. They've made a connection. But Douglas assumed much more than she did. Right. Yeah, no, great. Um, sleep well. Good night. Good night, love. Come dance with me. As we saw in the first film and you see in this one, when people get to know each other, they're all the same. They're all worried about the same things. It's imbued with a sense of hopefulness that anything is possible at any age. And that's a lovely feeling. Norman, quick, kiss me. What? You know you want to. You find her in a bit of a dilemma, actually, in her pursuit of a new husband. She's actually overrun with them. I don't want to be that lonely again, Norman. He suddenly realizes when you fall in love, there's something that can happen which is troubling, which is, is there somebody else? The idea of the movie to me is to never be jaded. Don't allow yourself to get jaded. And I think every character has that in some way. I must apologize to you. You apologized already. I mean it more now. Fewer and fewer of these movies are being made for actors that are interested in playing human emotions and psychology and thoughts and the dilemmas that we all find ourselves in our lives, I think is kind of wonderful. In the end, it's all very simple. All it takes is to look into someone's eyes and say, yes. This is what I want.